Welcome, brothers and sisters, to the Smart Sister Show, and I am your host, Smart Sister. And today I want to talk about uh, everything still that's going on. However, I want to talk about some of the sacrifices, the personal sacrifices people uh, make during these times. And then I also want to talk about uh, the fact that you got to keep your eyes on the prize. Now, I did talk about this uh, last week, but I think we need to do it even more because when I see a damn Amazon uh, post saying Black Lives Matter, when I see all these companies trying to come around, that should let you know how much our money means because they're trying to play nice and all of a sudden every damn body and their mama that's white and corporate all of a sudden everybody uh can see racism all of a sudden six weeks ago they didn't but now all of a sudden everybody's so you know aware and conscious of what's going on in the world and all i'm saying to you brothers and sisters is uh take that shit with a grain of salt and that also goes for all the white provocateurs in our uh marches as well as well now all of y'all that want to help black folks like i said organize some of your own damn marches that's what you need to do Okay, because, uh, you know, I feel you and you trying to help or whatever. But like I said, six weeks ago, six months ago, where was the awareness then? And I am sorry, but I'm not one of those uh, black people like the woman that was combing Amy Geiger's fucking hair in the courtroom or the judge, for that matter, that came off the bench giving her a... Uh, uh, a Bible. See, unfortunately, we have these coons and Negro pens that anytime a white person shows any kind of sympathy or empathy or whatever, they're like, oh, they melt like damn butter. And that doesn't impress me. Like I said, I'm not uh, enamored and uh, happy that you finally come to your damn senses. And that only goes so far. Because like I said, I don't trust you. You've had 400 years uh, to get your shit together. And that's cool. Do what you got to do. Like I said, I, I, you know, I'm good. And you can be good too. But go and do your thing. Do not come and think you're going to co-opt our movement just because you didn't have to come to Jesus all of a sudden. You should know that you should go and deal with your own people. That's how you do that. And if you want to support black people, support black businesses. Go buy you some damn shea butter <laughs> or do some shit like that. You support a black business, then that is going to uh, go directly to the black community. So, you know, don't be getting all caught up in all these organizations or whatever. Yeah, you can give money to them, but the bottom line, the quickest way to support and build the black community is to buy from a black business. And the bottom line is, are you really willing to build the black community is the uh, $9 million question. And that's what I feel is all going to go back to the same shit. It's cute for you to come out of uh, quarantine and go uh, march and do some shit. And like I said, get a finger to somebody and hold up a sign. And, uh, but will you be doing this shit in December? Okay, if we ain't still in damn quarantine. But that's my thing. If you really want to help black people, buy from black businesses. It's not hard to find. You can go on there. It's a million and one directories and every damn thing else. And you, we make everything everybody else makes. So uh, be it cosmetics, be it uh, skin care, be it business services, as I said uh, last week as well, get you a black PR firm or get a black publicist or get uh, some black writers to do stuff for you. It's all kind of stuff. So if y'all are really, 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 really serious about what the hell you saying and this just ain't something to do in a fad and, a, you know, for you, then do that. Then you need to look up some of these old cases. That's one of the things that I feel that black people need to be fighting for. We need a national database of all the damn cops for the last 20 years that have done shit or had cases against them that have disappeared in the air. 
and we don't know where the hell they at. And they all they did was go one county over, as I said, and got a job as a cop somewhere else. So we need to do our homework, black folks, and find all these assholes, all of them. Because that's what they've done. And they've gotten away with murder. And then they're living large some damn where uh, without a care in the world. And we need to find all of them and make them accountable. See, that's all I'm saying. Like I said last week, too, I'm not going to be satisfied till some motherfuckers is in jail with some years. You know, I don't, all this other sh kumbaya shit does not impress me. And I'm glad people are marching all over the world, but that just goes to show you how far the tentacles of white supremacy go. Black folks in London getting dogged out just like we have been. Black folks or people of color, and that's what I'll use that for people that are non-black but that aren't white either. That That's who, because when I say black, I mean black. We don't use that cold word, pe person of color. No, when you, over here, you talking about black people, okay? And, and, uh, and brown people. And some of y'all, I'm glad to see you coming out, but you need to understand your black blood. Mexico freed their slaves before the United States did. So we already got the same blood. We already been going back and forth for the longest. And a lot of y'all are starting to see that. A lot of y'all are understanding uh, uh, who your ancestors are too. Because I'm like, hell, we both like loud ass music, loud ass colors, and hot food. Now what do that tell you? That we've been uh, just right here for the longest. And, and speaking of which, I had one of my sorority sisters call and tell me about Ramsey Orta, a bro the brother that took the film of Eric Garner being killed. He didn't call hell every day since then. And that's something, brothers and sisters, we need to come together and, and look out for him too. Because if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't have had the video. And even with the fucking video, that asshole got off. But at least we have it. So we need to, he been in, in and out of trouble since 2014, six years ago when, when the brother got killed. He said the police own him every day. And you know when they own you, they can make shit happen and try to stick shit on you. And she said that he's now looking at to possibly have a 60 years because they done trumped up and did all kind of shit. So while y'all marching in New York... All of y'all New York brothers and sisters, uh, black and brown, need to look that brother up and save him and help him. March on some shit for him. Okay? This is, if we gonna do this, we need to do this. And everybody that's being affected by this shit needs to get some support. And that is where we will keep this, the, the momentum going and help each other. Because, see, Lord, they don't want no black and brown to come together and do something. Hell no. See, it is how the country is about to be a majority black and brown in a few more years, in about 15, 20 more years. They can, if we work together, oh, all best is all the way to fuck off. And they know it. And that is another reason why they doing shit. That's why they uh, trying to mess with that brother. Because Lord, you know, the fact that we giving him big ups for what he did. But yet and still he got to pay for being right. For being doing the right thing. And y'all need to look at people that's doing the right thing. And help them. Because that's how we going to really work it and get this thing uh, done the way it should be done. That's important to support him and make sure the police can't keep fucking with him either. And that's my whole thing. The fuckery has to come to an end. And they know it. Because if we get to the point where you don't respect no damn police, and I've been there. Okay, and I don't want to hear no more, not one more thing about, well, they all ain't bad. Well, motherfucker, they ain't all got to be bad. But if they all look the other way, when the bad ones do do the shit they do, then you just as guilty. And y'all motherfuckers know who the bad cops are on your, uh, in your department. And especially the black ones. Because they are, you, you will have a serpico moment. They'll shoot your ass. 
I had a white friend of mine that was a cop told me he stopped being a cop because they was about to serpico him. And for all y'all that don't know who that is, look it up. He got off the force because he'd be riding with his partner and the cop would say, look at that nigga over there. He got a 20-hour a, a hat on. And he was like, what? He would stop and fuck with black men with hats on because they can hold you 20 hours, right, for no reason. And he'd laugh about the shit and go fuck with them. And, and, uh, do, and, and, the, and the white boy couldn't take it no more. And he got off the floor, but he knew he couldn't go say shit because they would have got his ass killed. See, that's the shit that we need to be real honest about and, and really talk about how this shit is. Because you need to stay fucking angry constantly. Don't let this shit after a couple of weeks, uh, you let it just kind of fade on off. See, some of y'all uh, Negro pins and coons, that's what y'all do. Or like the Candace Owens is, is, is of the world, which I didn't just heard about her ignorant ass. I would never watch her videos because I'm not giving her no oxygen. But they said she started out talking about Trump and had an, an, an infil, uh, infant sized penis, which now she want to ride that motherfucker. Because she didn't found a way to make her some damn money. And see, Negro pins and coons like that, uh, don't give them no oxygen. Let that bitch go be with her white folks. So when, like I said, uh, the real deal go down, she can go down with them. Because she ain't on the team. And y'all got to start learning who's on the team, who ain't on the team. I'm not going to tell you how to think or what your opinion should be or, or, or where you should go because you can think freely for yourself. But if you can think freely for yourself and still be on that bullshit, then go ahead. But don't come back over here. You know, Mr. Drew breeze sounding like a motherfucking mouthwash, a new mouthwash. That motherfucker found out quick. He said what he meant, and he meant what he said. I'm so tired of y'all. Oh, he need apologize. Don't nobody need to apologize shit. People say what they want to say. And I, just like I do, I ain't apologizing for shit. If I said it, I fucking yeah. Yeah. Do not be fooled by this bullshit that's going on. And yes, there is a new day because white supremacy can be defeated. See, that's what we've got to really understand as well. The whole world has been affected by white supremacy and people all over the world are getting sick of it and are rising up. So that's the time we need to uh, go and keep going and making sure that everybody is accountable. The bottom line here is accountability. And that's something that white supremacy never ever wants to do if you notice everything in the united states laws everything don't apply to them because they're supposed to be able to do whatever the fuck they want to do and not be accountable they tell everybody else to be accountable for shit except for them so uh their shit is about to be attacked because people are making them more accountable and that's something they're gonna have to fight so if y'all think they're gonna lay down easy it's not gonna happen we got a long ass uh road to go and but we got to keep that pressure on and keep using uh what white folks all over the world uh, need to understand. Now, right now, of course, the Russians, uh, Chinese, all these people are going to take advantage because they see a little chink in the armor, but a lot of them are still for the same damn thing. So we can use them just like they've used us. And basically, as I said before, two of some little rice farmers in Vietnam whooped our ass. Well, whip the United States ass. It ain't ours because I ain't one of them is massa is we sick need to grow, uh, then, then that's what we got to do. You got to know that you can win. Stop fucking feeling like you can't win because you can. And that's what this is starting. People starting to see when you just wake up and stand up and get pe people up off you. 
that's when you win. When you make them accountable where they go to jail for the shit they do, that's when you win. When you become more financially secure and spend your money in your own uh, community and, and create millionaires and billionaires, that's when you win. You win when you see the beauty in yourself, the genius in yourself. And let's face it, everything going, we got this. I'm so glad some of these brothers in the NFL and and in the uh, NBA or whatever, they wouldn't be shit without you. So you need to go on make them accountable. For Godal uh to bring his hypocritical, stupid ass uh uh talking all that shit, so y'all need to sit his ass down too. Jay-Z, where you at? You couldn't deliver the need to grows like you thought, huh? And that's the bottom line. Like I said, fuck uh, uh, Mr. Breeze because now he know he going to be a sacked motherfucker when the uh, season gets started. So that's all I got to say to this week, y'all. I'm just, I'm, I'm full. I'm tired. Um, you know, I feel so many things, but that's why I keep trying to say to y'all for you not to make the mistake, uh, generations have made before by falling for the okie doke with these damn, uh, people because they do the same shit the same way over and over and they think they can keep running the same game. And they can't. And we need to not fall. That's so all y'all uh, kumbaya uh, Negroes that want to believe that shit and work with them and talk about all of this and that. Uh, you do that. The rest of us that know them for who they are and how they've always treated us, if we want to separate and be away from them and build our own shit, then let us do that too. We don't all have to have uh, the same point of view on this thing. Because we're not. You still, like I said, got the ones that want to comb my hair. That still want to run up behind them. Go right ahead. I, I, I do you. I'm going to do me. And all of us that want to do it a different way and be aware of what we need to do and not fall under that same integrationist bullshit, then that's what we need to do. And I mean really do it to the point where uh, other folks will still come and run behind us because we the ones got the juice. We got it and everybody want it and that's why we need to be real about it and do what we got to do. So I love y'all. I really do. That's why I do this. I want you to keep uh, supporting these videos and I'm going to keep making them for you. And I'm next time going to come up with a list of things that we need to uh, demand as a part of this whole movement to keep straight. As I said before, I, I posted the brother on my Facebook page that said we all need to get a gun and we all need to uh, pool our resources. So I would say go see that brother. Go to my Facebook page at Smart Sister and, and check him out. I totally agree. And then uh, keep track of the Blackout Day 2020. I will be giving y'all more information as I get it on that as well. So we can, a lot of people saying buy a gun. Uh, or it's on July 7th. Go get your, your piece. Go get your stuff, because like I said, the enemy ain't willing uh, to die as quick as they willing to kill. Let's be honest about that. So, um, I will keep y'all posted. I'm really going to uh, start another website where we can really put together a lot of our resources and have things available. And uh, I will keep you posted on that, too. So, anyway, you all have a great one, and I will see you on Wednesday. Take care.